if the GE said get lost for two weeks, you yeah. know, money's no object, two weeks va mini vacation from the world, ideally take no technology, yep. who do you take with you, what do you do, where do you go? Yep. I love this question. Good. And now I that I've answered asking. the question, I need to make this happen, right? So, so um, I would spend time with one-on-one -on -one time with my family, with my friends, and with with the Red Cross. So, I, I, so I'm going to go even deeper. So I'm sorry, I'm going to uh, okay. endure no, my no. engineering okay. brain here a little bit okay. more. I'd start with my mom. Okay. Uh, my mom loves going to these little nowhere shops out in who knows where town. And um, so we're not we're not overseas. We're not in a foreign country. Oh no no country. no! So gotcha. we just go right across the river or right right uh -huh. down down I sixty four right or I sixty five right. That's you great. just and um, and she loves going. And I would go with her. And I am not that person, by the way. But mm -hmm. I love seeing the world through my mom's eyes. Mm -hmm. And she will find the mm -hmm. funniest things or the neatest things. Or I will look over something and she will see history or something special in these things, and I would spend absolutely a day with my mom. Mm -hmm. Second day, I would, um, I would take my husband and my youngest son um, and my dad on a huge sporting event. We would find some amazing football game or mm -hmm. some basketball game or something, and just to see their enthusiasm and passion for sports is unlike anything mm -hmm. else. Then I would take my oldest son, who I've already mentioned, loves history, mm -hmm. and my in-laws, my um, Juanel and Mike Bray, who could not ask for better in-laws than, um, than what I have. They love history, too. And okay. so I would take them to Gettysburg. Oh, wow. I've had the opportunity. In one day. Well, <laughs> yes. We're, we're <laughs> on day three of day. 14, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Um, and I would go and, um, I, and experience that, the Gettysburg tour. Mm -hmm. if, if, um, I, I had the phenomenal opportunity to go. Mm -hmm. myself and it's probably one of the most moving yeah, my wife's pieces of history yeah it's pieces very moving of, it is um, and to be able to see that through their eyes would be remarkable mm -hmm. so then from there I would jet to um, uh, San, um, um, San Antonio Texas okay. that's where my uh, brother and sister-in-law are with uh, my two nephews um, both of them are doctors and they teach at the University of Texas and they are some of the smartest people that I know I would love to walk a day in their shoes through the campus Wow. and see the work that they do. Mm -hmm. um, they, uh, they just are amazing, amazing people, and I'd love to learn. I hear their stories. I'd love to go see with them. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, my, my other sister-in-law and brother-in-law, they live here in Louisville. Um, my sister-in-law is an amazing lady. She also is a doctor. Um, she is a sports freak. So she um, I just finished uh, Iron Man. She runs <laughs> triathlons. She does... I would go with her on one of her, I, I, so I've cheered her on at the finish line, yeah. but I would love to, if I had time to cheer her on and swimming and biking and I would just love just so to be there for her. not participate. Oh, no, 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 not participate. <laughs> okay, checking. Just checking. <laughs> no, no, running like four miles is like an accomplishment for uh -huh. me, but she's just an amazing lady. And just to know that I'm behind her, I want her to know how much I love her and I admire her um, and I, I would I would do that. So are we through the first full week? We may be through okay. the first, first week. The second week I would spend, um, actually we have five chapters of our Red Cross here in mm -hmm. Kentucky. I would go to each chapter mm -hmm. and I would really get to, um, to go out and see the sure. work our um, volunteers do. They, con you know, being chair of the board, I see the, all of the messages that come across from Paducah and from Bowling Green and Lexington and they're doing in Southern Indiana, and they're doing such amazing work. And I just don't have time sure. in my life right now to go see. But if I did, I would go spend time with them and go see. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I would end in um, uh, Charleston, South Carolina, my favorite beach in right. the U.S. There we go. That's the usual. There we go. The whole two weeks is usually yep. in one spot. <laughs> I would end there, and I'd bring my family with me. And if I could just read on the beach and watch the sunset. That go. would be a great way to close out two weeks. I think that answer gave great insight into how you process the world. So, yeah. I mean, just you had it all, and you never skipped a beat. You never missed a day. That's, that's pretty impressive. That's the I way love you it. go.